Well, today we're to be doing a, an original tune of mine. But first, let's get in tune. Uh, we'll tune the first string to D. Second string to B. Third string to G. Fourth string to D. Okay. And fifth string to G. Tune uh, burlap, do the exposition, and we'll slow it down and break down any parts that we need to. Now that all the testosterone is blown, we'll slow that down. One, two, one, two, three. Now I play the tune twice around, um, but really that is the main break that I wrote for the song. Um, basically the A part is centered around this. And that, that's just a play between, uh, it's the easiest fretting you probably can ever do. It's like the kind of fretting you do when you're first learning the banjo. I mean, that kind of thing, and so it's not that hard fretting-wise until you get into the uh, B section, but the uh, picking hand, that's the open strings without the fretted E note on the second fret of the fourth string. So the tune starts off with a very uh, Earl's breakdown, except without the hammer on. the way uh, Jim Mills starts off. I was born in East Virginia. So that kind of thing. Um, that's the 
the kick off. And then we begin that lick. You play it three times. So there's the three pinches sort of signify the lick itself, and that's open strings, even slower. What you're doing is you're pinching third and one. It sounds like this. Two, three, play. And that lick is punctuated by these fill things. Little walk down. Back into it. After the second time, this D lick. really pronounce that making it happy um, just you almost almost barely crossing the fret when I do it see I'm, I'm sort of actually doing that and being lazy but almost kind of getting that half tone instead of almost muting it after you lift off from third to uh, Creating a softer tone is what you're doing. Instead of it's so pronounced, it's it's uh so also what you're treating is you're treating the F sharp like a ghost note, so you don't get the really happy sound in there. But <laughs> the old D lick again. a series of quasi triplets over a 4 4 rhythm. It's this thing you kind of have to hear it at speed a little bit because that's how you get the, that's how you hear the tempo to be able to get the single patient. And we end on a pinch after that lick. And that leads us into the third time doing the signature G lick. So quick C. Sheila lick. And of course that repeats again. When I'm coming out of the uh, D lick, I don't do little, just a tiny little change. I don't do this three times. I actually do because I'm coming out of obviously this slide. And theoretically, because that's in the audience's ear, we go back there to sort of say now we're going, we're modulating back to G. So that's the only time you sort of variate from this uh, signature lick. So following the D, you would go. And then you repeat the, the normal stuff. And uh, the C lick again, uh, coming out of the signature lick. Into the B part, we start with an F melodic lick. We modulate to G major there, so you're lifting off the F note to hit the open B in between the licks. So just if it went by too quickly in the exposition, I'm actually lifting off of the 
the uh, F note on the second string to actually modulate from F to G. So uh, at the top of the F melodic lick, we hit a G7 there. Forward slide into E flat. D minor, and that lick is, we hit the A note to, to solidify that we're in D to differentiate obviously from G7, because sometimes it can sound like G7, it's D minor, and we just pause on that note and go back to the F melodic lick. Instead of going down to G7, we slide up to your D position, G, E flat, C, D, and that is uh, burlap in a nutshell. Some of you will be wondering why the tune is called burlap. Um, <clears throat> That's because the uh, tone ring in the band was burlisle, and um, it's kind of a joke. It's kind of a joke on the uh, hangout, or it used to be a joke on the hangout between Gomer and a couple other users when the uh, there was that, I think, what, 20, 20 page, four part uh, <laughs> banjo hangout uh, forum thread about uh, the burlisle ring, is it good or not? Uh, part one of the jokes in there was uh, confusion over how Jim spelled his name. Was it B-U-R-L-I-L-E or B-U-R-L-I-S-L-E? Kind of like the Scottish Carlisle spelling or, or was it burlap? And, and it came out the, the burlap like a burlap sack and it, it kind of stuck uh, with that and when I was looking, when I was looking to buy this I, I ran into that and, and uh, I remembered it when I was writing this tune, and I figured, well, I'll just call it uh, burlap. And it's played in B, actually, unless you want to do the ending, which we'll go over next. Um, but it, it's supposed to be played in B, because obviously that makes sense, considering the tone ring maker's name has a B in it. Big surprise, right? But the ending, coming off of the uh, last, we'll start coming off of the last melodic F lick. slower now all, all that is is you're noting two the, the first two strings of the banjo in F position bar and D position chords so basically what you're playing is your F position G second F position G so one two two pinches of G bar getting your power G like Ned the Breggy. And so over that even slower. And of course up to speed it sounds really cool. And you obviously want to rake it at the end. Get that, uh, that guitar, guitar kind of vibe going in there, Tony Rice. But uh, that's uh, Burlap. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm working with this new screen implementation of getting both hands. For the longest time, I did two hands uh, separately, which was kind of useful. Nobody ever really did that. It was always split screen or just one screen photographing the hands. And I think I, th I noticed people were watching like one of the videos only and not watching either the hand video of one song or the or the uh, picking hand of the other song. I was kind of like, well, to, to get the views homologized uh, or homologated, uh, just make one video. So, uh, on that note, uh, until I like it.
like that look. Uh, we'll see you later.